Good morning from this wonderful early Sunday morning. The Brookharts are back at their crazy antics. And we decided late last night when we got home from our very... Stop what? <laughs> you need sunblock, babe. And you need to sit on your bum. Thank you. We were going to do a rope drop, rope drop to Magic Kingdom on this Sunday. Yeah. It opened up five minutes ago. So we're so, close. We're close. The train. Welcome aboard, folks. We're beginning a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. Stops along the way in Frontierland and Fantasyland. Sit back and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs well inside the train. We're currently departing Main Street Station. And if you're missing those friendly faces already, not to worry. On this train, it's never goodbye. It's always see you real soon. All right, we got off in Fantasyland, and we're gonna go on the farm summer front row. Sarah and Teddy in the Dumbo playground because it's AC and wonderful and the kids love it. But we're going to do Barn Summer first because we think Jamesy loves it. Then we get some AC, right? You ready? We're going to play in the air conditioning <laughs> while they're on the roller coaster. <gasps> wow. Is that good? Why? Wow. Oh, you did it. Good job. He's a kid who loves his Dumbo and loves his Dumbo playground. Perfect AC and potential sitting break. And it's like good AC. Yeah. And I wore my thin shirt, so it's like I'm drying out while we're in here. And you can love it. Yeah. He's channeling his inner pyrotechnic. He wants to fire off all the fireworks. Gotta say, Ariel's a bigger, bigger one, of, bigger favorite of James's than I realized. Yeah, he actually had watched Little Mermaid this week, so I feel like it's also like fresh in his head. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The character itself. James, he doesn't just do thumbs up, he does a pound it. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Who uses antlers in all of their decorating? All right, so I don't know if we said the full plans because it is Sunday dinner tonight and we have to prepare red sauce and everything in the house for visitors. So we're leaving Magic Kingdom after this. But we have Gaston's warm cinnamon bun. It's gonna be delicious. 
Look at the castle. Sarah, how was breakfast? It was great. Considering you and I got to split it? Yeah. Our kids we didn't really want anything to do with it. Yeah. We, like, I started them with the snacks when we got to the table, and they were just like, did not want anything to do with the cinnamon roll. But it was delicious. So. And I, I just realized, I don't think I'll be able to make it on Space Mountain before the transfer. Oh. I haven't checked the wait time today, but I just feel like we're on our way out. Yeah, we gotta go. <sighs> we could see about making it work. We still have two more days. So we might have only really mentioned this on our live stream, but because now the Sicards live here, we are gonna be doing Sunday dinner again. And we are hosting this week, so I'm starting the sauce. And Teddy is ready for a snooze. Teddy is playing with some kitchenware, so sorry if you hear that in the background. Now that it is all cooked through, I'm gonna add in, whoa, two cans of diced tomatoes. The sauce I'm making this time around, I'll show you how I make it. Um, it was a half of a pork roast, because it was a two pound roast, and you only need a pound of meat for the sauce. I started with that and a full onion, as well as fresh garlic, pepper. Um, when you're doing a sauce with pork, it's a saltier meat, so you don't need to start with salt. I just like to to like hold off on it and then like taste it later on while I'm cooking it. Um, and then, once that's all cooked, I added in two cans of diced tomatoes. Now this is like a variation of my family's recipe. I feel like over the years I've kind of like gotten my own preferences and sometimes I switch it up. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to also add in the basil and let that really cook nice for like 20 minutes, really let like the juices of the meat come out. Um, and then we'll add in our other tomatoes. So my next addition is crushed tomatoes. And I always like crushed tomatoes because I like a smoother sauce instead of like a chunky sauce. Um, I still put in the diced tomatoes obviously, but they kind of really cook down. And then the main portion of the sauce is these crushed tomatoes. And then at this point, I added more garlic powder and typically parsley, but I just remembered that we're out. We actually had a little parsley accident where <laughs> it got smashed, so we couldn't salvage any of it. So we'll just do without parsley today. So let that bubble up. And then the last additions are tomato paste and water to kind of smooth them out. So I'll do three little things of tomato paste and like kind of water to like the consistency I like. Typically it's like basically three of these filled with water. Alrighty, here's our sauce. It's gonna bubble away. I'm gonna put it on low, cook it for like two more hours, three more hours-ish. I did end up putting five cans of water in there, so in a little bit I'll give it a little taste test, add in any spices I think it needs. Yeah, it's actually quite tasty. And real quick, it is key to have it cook uncovered. You don't wanna, you don't wanna cover it. Oh, you're doing a good job, come on. Yeah. Oh, tough. We're picking up a few last minute things. There you go, good technique. Wow, what a Sunday feast. Who would have ever thought that a Sunday dinner would occur? It's Florida. Can't believe it. Your food's over there by the table, Goosey. Oh, you better believe it. We have a ruckus going on upstairs with everybody, but I just want to point out that Luca is my boy. He is my dude. He asked me to put on Hocus Pocus, and I didn't even coerce him into it. So I have to go upstairs and tell his mother that this is happening, because she is anti-Halloween Hocus Pocus right now. Even though she doesn't realize she moved into a state, into a region of a state that begins Halloween socially August 1st. Yeah, Hocus Pocus is exhilarating to James, while Violet and James color. All right. Friends have left. It's a stormy night out, which is like giving cozy vibes. Yeah. Also, Mickey shorts are over. Official, yes. Yeah. Steamboat Silly just released on Disney Plus, which is, is so good. Steamboat Silly just released on Disney Plus, and it's like the grand finale. Should we just sign off? I think we should. Yeah. End of our weekend. Exciting week. Ahead. Yeah. Embryo transfer. And the little staycation over the weekend. Ayo. On Disney property. 
but not in but a not Disney at resort. DVC or Disney resort. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. They say it's good to be home too. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.